coffee drinkers worldwide. This is the Ombudsman of Coffee, Dr. Lima from Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. And we are going to provide you with the scientific data about coffee and health. Most people like coffee, but some people are worried with their health. And we are going to show you that coffee, provided it's taken in moderation, is good for your health. You can look here. We have some websites for your information in Portuguese or in English. This one is published by the International Coffee Organization in London with publications updated on coffee and health. And you can visit our films regularly at the YouTube. Why coffee in Brazil? Brazil is the leading producer in the world. Thir one third of the coffee production is, comes from Brazil and there are two species of coffee. Coffee Arabica, that is the one in red, 80% of Brazilian production, and 20% of coffee Robusta. There are two species of coffee. So you should know that when you drink coffee. Why? Because there are lots of scientific research done on coffee. This is the Encyclopedia of Food Sciences and Nutrition, my dearest and deceased colleague, Professor Luis Trugo, is one of the editor. It has more than 1,000 leading scientists on food science and nutrition, and Dr. Trugo is the leadership on coffee chemistry. Together we have my group in Brazil. We have been publishing for more than 20 years on coffee and health, coffee and brain, coffee and heart, history of coffee, and you can l learn more visiting our websites or by email. We will be glad to provide you with reprints and information if you want to. At the moment in Brazil, we have the cooperation of the University of Rio de Janeiro, University of São Paulo, the Heart Institute, the Brazilian Coffee Association, the Embrapa Café, that is a Brazilian institute that does research on coffee. We have the Conexão Médica, that is a web TV, and all together are providing to the consumers and doctors information about coffee and health. There is a caffeine obsession in the world. When you talk with your doctor, when you talk with someone who likes or dislikes coffee, he claims that caffeine, caffeine is detrimental to health, coffee is not good to youth, coffee is addictive, coffee is not good for health. This is not real, this is not truth. If you drink coffee, you should learn, should know that there are new evidences that coffee can prevent depression, suicide, alcoholism, cirrhosis, diabetes, cancer, Parkinson, gallstones, and it's good for students at schools. Today we have an obesity epidemic in the world because they drink soft drinks, the junk food. Those students who drink coffee, coffee and milk, they don't have depression, obesity, and all these problems, as you can see here. Coffee is not only caffeine. This is important, because most doctors and coffee drinkers worldwide think that coffee is only caffeine. Coffee is not only caffeine, it can be good to human health. Coffee has 1 to 2 percent of caffeine, and has many other compounds that we are going to concentrate in this first film, Coffee Ombudsman, on these chlorogenic acids. As you can see, it's far more abundant than caffeine here. And what happens when you drink coffee? First, coffee is the only plant that is roasted at very high temperatures. So the green coffee is roasted to up to 200 degrees centigrade, then it's roasted and made a beverage. So when you drink coffee, you should know that are different steps of roasting. And when coffee is too much roasted, like this dark roasted, dark or moderately dark, this is not as good as the properly roasted coffee that here in between this group. So the coffee should be properly roasted. Why? Because we have, as we can call, the dynamic trio. Caffeine, the antioxidants, chlorogenic acids, that when coffee is properly roasted, they made the quinolactones. These are healthy compounds found in coffee, as you can see, far more than caffeine. 
only caffeine is termo stable, so you should control that. And there are all these other compounds. Coffee has moved from coffee and caffeine to soluble coffee, espresso, traditional, organic, superior, special, and it, very soon you will be able to drink the functional coffee and the medicinal coffee. Provide it is properly roasted and provide you know more about coffee. There is the good coffee, the healthy coffee, but there is also the junk coffee. So be careful. Drink coffee is good for your health, but learn more about coffee and health. Thank you.